My name is Susanna Mary, and this is a Landscape Photographer's Diary, an immersive story podcast of wild adventures in nature. Welcome to episode three of the podcast. We leave the Isle of Arran following last week's episode, The King's Cave. This week's story is called The Misty Bothy, a continuation of an adventure through Scotland. I'd love to hear your adventure stories too. If you'd like your story read by me and shared to inspire others, please write in via www.susannamary.com. The selected author will win Onisi VD Swift camera filter system and have their story read by me on this podcast. The deadline for entries has been extended to the 31st of March 2024. The rhythm of the waves gently caressed the stony base of the cavern, enveloping the vast void with an aquatic melody reminiscent of the Soronus hum of a seashell. It was an orchestral symphony, with the ocean's mighty roar serving as the bass. This sonic embrace, interspersed, with the sporadic squawking and fluttering of the seabirds. They broke the hush, plummeting into the water's surface in a quest for sustenance. This spectacle within the king's cave served as a potent reminder for me to de-accelerate, to relish in the ebb and flow of photography. Even when a photograph isn't the end result. What one receives in return is an unadulterated front view of nature's grandeur. Immersed in nature, I felt an intrinsic part of the landscape, my heart untamed, my spirit invigorated with an earthy zest. I folded away my tent as dawn broke and embarked on my journey towards the ferry. As the ferry started its journey, my eyes lingered on the receding silhouette of the Isle of Arran. Its rocky peaks seemed to search for my presence among the sea-bound voyagers. A silent exchange of smiles occurred between us. The waves, silver-grey in colour, danced in tumultuous joy as the ferry split through them. Overhead, the sky donned a heavy grey cloak once again. Yet a streak of light etched itself across the horizon. A gleaming band of white, it reflected intensely on the rippling water's surface under the sun's gaze. An approaching beacon of hope, signalling the promise of a new adventure. When I arrived on land, my heart searched for more wilderness. I decided to head to the Galloway Forest in Dumfries and the Galloway, a southern section of the Highlands, which is an epitome of breathtaking landscapes and serene beauty. Encapsulated in the rolling green hills, pristine forests and sparkling rivers, The Galloway is a hidden gem. I yearned to lose myself in the embrace of the woods. Deciding on my shelter for the night, I was drawn to the rustic charm of a bothy. After leafing through a guide, my eyes landed on an idyllic spot. A bothy nestled away, only accessible by a winding forest trail. As I found myself at the start of the trail, I was embraced by a profound sense of solitude. The remoteness of the location made it feel as if I was the only person in existence. Little did I know that would change. This was exactly the feeling I was yearning for. Shouldering my backpack, armed with my camera, I commenced my journey along the path that seemed to stretch into infinity. 
For hours and hours, I trek deeper into the heart of the Galloway. Navigating along a forest track that twisted and turned at every step. Each bend in the path unveiled a new perspective of the expansive, age-old woodland. I suddenly heard this roaring sound behind me. Bang, clatter, a logging truck. It blundered past me and snaked its way down the forest track and into the distance. These logging trucks would accompany me along the way for the rest of my journey, occasionally passing through like a storm in sudden silence. The forest appeared limitless and veiled in a wispy haze with rows upon rows of pine trees layered into the distance, their outlines fading as the fog swept through their branches. The gravel path underfoot echoed with a resonant crunch while I traced the hiking route, venturing deeper into the sprawling landscape. I then saw the bothy, shrouded in the golden hue of daffodils. There was a dense mist which clung to the sky, softly caressing the hilltops. I traced my steps along a vast muddy trail that led me to the quaint little cottage that stood amidst the wild grass like a beacon of solace. With every step towards the bothy entrance, my heart pounded with anticipation. Will I be met with friendly faces, or will I be greeted by silence? With a quickening pulse, I pushed open the door. The Bothy bore the name the White Lagan Bothy, a homage to an 18th century cottage. The palpable history of the structure echoed around me, whispering tales of those who had sought refuge within its cosy confines. To the left, a room awaited with welcoming bunk beds. Straight ahead, a cosy living space unfolded, complete with additional sleeping quarters and a kitchen that boasted of stunning views across the forest valley. Empty, solitary, the perfect haven. I unpacked and feathered the nest for the night. The sight of a fatigued bumblebee on the window ledge caught my attention. He seemed wary, slow and lethargic. With a desire to aid, I scooped him up and gently transported him to the sanctuary of the golden daffodils. His spiny wings lay dormant, folded, as he burrowed into the invigorating shelter of the blooming petals. I was that beleaguered bee who had found solace in nature's vessel and sought refuge in the highlands. Here, I reinvigorated myself. The symphony of a waterfall played in the distance. The frigid water streaming down from the encircling mountains was a soothing backdrop. As the light faded, I gazed out of the window watching the mist roll through the trees. A cornflower blue cast through the kitchen window. A staring contest with nature had begun. My gaze broke. I spotted a figure emerging in the distance from the mist. The silence was shattered. I was not alone anymore. My gaze followed as they trod the same path moving towards the secluded bothy. It would be just the two of us in this remote location. Cut off from the world. No signal. A wave of unease washed over me, but I steeled myself. I had made the choice not to live in fear, not to constrain myself. 
as I welcomed the fellow wanderer, a sense of relief washed over me. I was not alone. I now had a companion. He shared his story. He was walking to his home from Bothy to Bothy. An old Englishman. Scotland stole his heart many years ago, he told me. I felt at ease in his presence and realised I had nothing to fear. I felt safer knowing there was someone else there. A kind person with a warm energy. We agreed we would set up a security system at night for the outdoors. If the balance bells fell, then someone was coming in. As the night waned, the flames danced merrily in the hearth, casting a warm glow on the bothy book which laid before me. A testament to the lives intersecting at a single junction. Like a nexus, we were all converged. The bothy emanated an indescribable aura, pulsating with energy, seeped in history, and breaming with tales to tell. The flickering firelight bathed the room in its comforting warmth. A steaming beverage nestled in my hands, radiating heat that seeped into my being. Our laughter echoed into the quiet night, intermingling with the adventurous tales we exchanged until the wee hours of the morning. It was a howling sleep. The house wasn't finished speaking to me. Bang, clap, the wind rustled the windows and shook the roof. I lay there resting, nestling. The morning would bring an end to the trip to the highlands. And I was glad I was awake. I didn't want it to end. I wrote my story in the pages of the Bothy book and closed the book to return again once more. I'd learnt that a magical power lies within nature and landscape photography. It's more than a passion. It's an intimate relationship between you and the natural world. A wave of communication with nature at a tempo only certain people can hear. My creative flow was a dormant seed within me, awakened the moment I laid eyes on my first camera. It blossomed into a pursuit that has led me to breathtaking landscapes and immersive encounters with nature's innermost secrets. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Stay tuned for the next series.